just the end of this of last week a violence meeting is being arranged in state house mm. the president is calling his troops mm. wherever he is mm. he is calling his troops to state house mm. and telling them organize goons yeah. organize criminals mm. in your respective counties mm. in your respective constituencies mm. come out and fight mm. really mm. such meetings being organized in, in state house uh -huh. We are watching him that the problem in this country is high taxes, it is hunger, it is unemployment. Yeah, I'm uh, John Garuya, the NAC Kenya chairman in uh, Nakuru County. And uh, what has been said is true. So, in summary, we are saying as follows number one, uh, our leaders in Nakuru County. Uh, from the Azimio party that have been arrested, we are demanding that uh, let their charges be dropped with immediate effect because they are politically instigated and that uh, they have no root in the constitution. Number two, uh, we are calling out the Interior Minister, Professor Kindiki. Uh, for a long, you know, for some time, he seemed to be, you know, the reason in Kenya Kwanzaa. But uh, all of a sudden, we don't know what has happened. He's uh, issuing threats, uh, left, right and centre, saying that uh, people are going to see, saying that uh, uh, no demonstrations in Kenya, yet he is a constitutional lawyer, somebody who has, you know, been a trainer at the University of Nairobi for many years. We are wondering what has gotten into his head. Right now he's issuing threats as the Minister for Interior, whereas his role is supposed to protect uh, life and property of every Kenyan without really profiling a party. Number three, we are saying that demonstrations are in the constitution. They are safeguarded by the constitution. Just the other day, Dr. Ruto was in the streets calling out uh, Uhuru government about harassment, about intimidation, about violence. What has happened? So the same way a few years, a few months ago, uh, he was on the other side. Let him also know that very soon the food could also be on the other side. And therefore, protection of the constitutional rights should be uniform, should be equal, should be all. So that wherever you find yourself um, uh, in future, you are protected. Number four, let us stop sideshows. It is clear that the problem in this country is high taxes, it is hunger, it is unemployment. Let the government not add the burden on taxation. That is where the core is. Let us don't add taxes on the population that is already growing. And also ensure that there is food for people. You cannot tell them that they are going to eat after, after, after six months. They are eliminated subsidies so the question is after elimination of subsidies where is that money because kenyans cannot see where that money is going to and kenyans are not fools and then finally demonstrations in this country will go on in the regime of ruto and in the others that are going to come in future so it looks very bad when a president today says no demonstration he said that one last week in fact, he was on record saying that no laws of life. 13 lives have been recorded. 13 lives. Whereas he issued a very stern uh, instruction that no deaths, promised that no deaths will be. Now, he has issued another one. There will be no demonstration. What happens if there is a demonstration on Thursday? What happens if there is a demonstration on, on Friday and Saturday and in future? What is going to happen? So we are saying in short that... The government, or rather Ruto, Dr. Ruto, should keep his, should put his house in order. Let him not issue things that are not, uh, you know, um, um, are that, not, uh, that are not backed by the law. Yes. And finally, very unfortunate incident. Just the end of this, of last week, a violence meeting is being arranged in State House. Mm. The president is calling his troops, mm. wherever he is. Mm. He is calling his troops to state house mm. and telling them, organize goons. Mm. 
yeah. organized criminals mm. in your respective counties, mm. in your respective constituencies, mm. come out and fight. Mm. Really? Mm. Such meetings being organized in, in State House. Uh -huh. We are watching him, and he should know that he's not the first one. Yeah. There are so many others in the world yeah. who have followed that route, mm. and we can see where they are. Mm. The, the, the police are paid by tax I mean by taxpayers across Kenya mm. to protect property and life for all Kenyans. Mm. What is he telling people to come out and defend themselves? Mm. How is that? Mm. We are alarmed by those statements. Mm. In fact, even when you look at the media stations and you find the Kenya Kwanzaa in peace and so on, that is what they are propagating. Mm. And we are, you know, we are wondering, we are alarmed at such statements. So such things should be uh, stopped. The drum beats should be lowered mm. and Kenya Kwanza should come to the reality. Mm. Let them read Hans Mogenthau, mm. the six principles of political realism. Mm. Thank you. Mm.